Welcome back to Soft Pants Friday, my weekend watch guide where I give you the best choices to enjoy in television and in theaters meant to be enjoyed in your softest pants. I got a lot of stretch today. Kicking it off with the woman who needs a nap more than anyone on the planet, Blake Lively. In her brand new movie, It Ends With Us. Based on the first Colleen Hoover novel adapted for the big screen, it tells the story of Lily Bloom, a woman who overcomes a traumatic childhood to embark on a new life and chase the dream of opening her own business. A chance meeting with a charming neurosurgeon and her first love re-entering her life gives Lily a run for her money. Check it out. We all have an idea of what love can be. I wanna see you again. Now you see me. You know what I mean. <laughs> that special connection you feel. That first kiss. But 15 seconds. That's all it takes. To completely change everything. I know there was a lot of chatter about whether or not the movie would live up to the magic of the book, and early reviews are saying it's going to be a huge win for Colleen Hoover fans. Blake is magic every time. It Ends With Us is in theaters today. Next up, we got a little Matt Damon and his best friend's little brother, Casey Affleck, which means the instigators cannot be bad. They play a desperate father and ex-con duo who were thrown together to rob a corrupt politician's stolen earnings. But when the heist goes wrong, they find themselves in a world of chaos. Take a look. I got a once in a lifetime score. You're, You're the Marine? Yeah. You're the ex-con. Yeah, I did time, but you only got to cast aspersions at me, guys. I'm Go. Trying. Good. Stop talking. No alcohol detected. Been about a week. The mayor is going to be holding a party on election night. And there's going to be money there like none of you bums ever seen. It's your first job? I know what I'm doing. It's a little late for a career change, ain't it? You're 60. Quick question. If I'm giving instructions and they're not doing them, just say, I have a gun. What are you doing? Taking notes. Taking notes on a Taking criminal conspiracy. We love a heist movie, and when Matt Damon is at the helm, you know it's going to be fun. The Instigators is streaming on Apple TV today. This next one has enough star power for 10 movies, and I'm so excited to see it on the big screen. Borderland stars Kate Blanchett, Kevin Hart, Jack Black, and Jamie Lee Curtis, to name a few, and is based on one of the best-selling video games franchises of all time, Welcome to Borderlands. When an infamous bounty hunter reluctantly returns to her home, she forms an unexpected alliance with a team of misfits to battle an alien species. Check it out. Legend has it that there's this massive treasure hidden in some secret vault. And if you go hunting for it, you'd better take any help you can get. Because it's on the weirdest most dangerous dumpster fire of a world in the universe. God, I hate this planet. Kate Blanchett nails the fierce female lead in any type of movie. She could truly do it all. Borderlands is in theaters today. And last but never least, one for the kiddos, the entire family. If yours are anything like mine, SpongeBob SquarePants has been a longtime favorite in your house. Well, he's back with the entire gang. And in this new movie, we're focusing mainly on Sandy Cheeks. Heads up, we've already watched this one twice this week, actually, and it's just as fun as you think. Take a look. Good morning, Bikini Bottom! Good morning, Sandy! What's going on? Mm -hmm. What? I washed my hands. What the heck? Boots, Marine Biology Lab. <gasps> Everyone I ever loved is gone. The amount of movies and television shows that have been made just about SpongeBob and his friends is insane, and the limit does not seem to exist. I'm here for it, though. Saving Bikini Bottom, the Sandy Cheeks movie is now streaming on Netflix. I hope you love these, and check back in next Friday for the best things in movies, television, and streaming that you can enjoy in your soft pants, of course.